Tonight, the Davis administration's putting shovels in the ground in Mangrove Key for the construction of a multi-million dollar clinic set to bring critical health care services closer to residents. Devante Hanna leads us off. High quality medical care is just over a year away from arriving to Mangrove Key Andrus as the Davis administration on Wednesday morning broke ground on a proposed $6.8 million clinic. This clinic will be a symbol of our government's commitment to ensuring that no Bahamian is left behind when it comes to health care. According to Health and Wellness Minister, the Honorable Dr. Michael Darville, once completed the over 14 square feet clinic, will include a morgue, a standalone medical waste building, as well as emergency medical cottages. The facility will offer a wide cross-section of services, including laboratory, x-ray, ultrasound, telemedicine and other IT platforms. Now, shovels went into the ground today, but in the next 15 to 18 months, according to health officials, this property should be completed and using technology, it should be able to connect to places like here, the Princess Margaret Hospital, in just a quick second. This clinic will serve as a beacon of hope, bringing critical medical services closer to home and ensuring that no one has to leave these shores for basic health care needs anymore. It was all smiles for Central and South Andrews and Mangrove Key Member of Parliament, the Honorable Leon Lundy, who, as the dotted line was being signed, revealed he couldn't be more proud of the critical point the clinic has arrived after its long planning phase that dates back to 2016. This is Prime Minister Davis touted. The clinic is a testament of his administration's plan for a complete overhaul of the country's health care system. Our government has committed to building two new hospitals in Grand Bahama, New Providence. We will renovate all of the clinics throughout the family islands and begin our footprint for the construction of new state-of-the-art clinics. And with hard hearts and tow for contractors, Dr. Darville hinted to a jumpstart, revealing that more ambulances will arrive on the island of Andrus in just three weeks. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Devontae Hanna. Hi there, I'm Corval Piper. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Zedanas.